All right, we're back on the show. It's John Pollock and Robin Black with you. UFC 186 is coming up Saturday night, April the 25th from the Bell Center. And one of the men that a lot of people looking forward to seeing back in action, he is on the line with us, Patrick Cote, who will take on Joe Diesel Riggs. Pat, how are you today? I'm pretty good, man. Thanks. What's up, Pat? Hey, how you doing, man? <laughs> hey, I'm doing good. It's like a week ago I saw you in Montreal. You were cornering some guys on a grassroots show. How was that experience for you? You, you still love going to show, uh, smaller shows like that? Oh, yeah, for sure. You, know, you have to uh, never forget where you're from. You know, I'm, uh, I, I like going there, help my guys, help my, my, my friends. And uh, if, they, if they need help, I'll be there for them. And uh, he asked me to go in this corner feel comfortable with me in this corner. Unfortunately, uh, he didn't win, but he, he, did, he did a good performance. I was pretty proud of him. Now, Pat, uh, th- this card has seen some, some guys just be decimated here. Guys are falling off like flies. How is your health? Because I think the Montreal faithful here, they, they are clinging that Patrick Cote will be a part of this card. How are you feeling? <laughs> Don't worry. I'm, I'm feeling great. I'm feeling awesome. You know, my weight is good, no injuries. Uh, my head is good too, so I just uh, I can't wait to go there. I feel I feel awesome. Training is going pretty well, and just a question of time now. When uh, we spoke to you last week, we were talking about the fact that you've never been knocked out. You don't believe you've ever had a concussion, and uh, that you as a result. Oh, I believe it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure of that. Oh yeah, you th- you you may have had a concussion or two. You think? <laughs> no, I don't think so. No, never. And and really, that that is a very, very rare thing for a guy like you who fights. And, you know, like knock on wood, you you think you'll continue to fight for a long time as long as you're able to feel this good? Yeah, that, yeah, exactly. As long as I'm able to compete at this level, as long as it's not dangerous for my health. Uh, you know, like I said, I want to see my kids growing up. You know, I want to be able to play with them. And... Uh, but right now, uh, every time I wake up in the morning, I'm enjoying to go to the gym and uh, put some sacrifice and effort and push, push to the limit and try to get better every day. But who knows? Maybe one day in a month, in a year, in two years, I'm going to wake up and I'm going to say to myself, man, forget it. Forget <laughs> it. I don't want to receive punch in my face anymore. I'm just going to pull the plug. But right now, I'm still enjoying that. How, how do you like the, these these setups, uh, Pat? Where you're you're fighting in your back backyard, you get to sleep in your own bed every night. Or is it a nice distraction when you get to go off to somewhere like Vegas, uh, as opposed to Montreal? I mean, wh- what's the good and the bad of fighting in Montreal for you? Uh, this is awesome. I can use my own jacuzzi. I can I can cook my own food. So it, it, it's awesome. Uh, the the only thing it's Man, I, I don't know. I love fighting Montreal. I love it. I love the crowd. I love the vibe uh, in town. Uh, for sure, I have to take care about more uh, about the media. But, yeah. hey, this is part of the game. This is your professional athlete. And if the media is not there, you don't have a job. If the fans not there, you don't have a job. So this is part of the job. You have to do it. But, uh, you know, for me, it's all positive fighting Montreal. Hey, uh, no complaining about media, Pat. You are media now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Exactly, you know. So I, now I know. I understand your job, guys. <laughs> are Are you going to be doing doing like like television work at, at all during the week leading up to the fight? Is it completely? You're just in fighter mode that week. How How does How do you balance that? Uh, actually, uh, this is this is my the, the fight week. Uh, I'm going to be uh, only uh, on fighter fight mode for sure. Right. But uh, you know, if everything is going uh, pretty well, uh, like I plan, uh, normally uh, after the fight, uh, I'm. He's gonna have, still have the main card uh, televised, so I'm gonna join the broadcast team in French and try to to finish the, the show with them. They they like that. I did that uh, two times before uh, when the show was in Montreal, so it's it's pretty good. So we'll see what's gonna happen, but uh, I'm planning to do that. Now I know it's hockey insanity in Montreal. Something that we would know nothing about here in Toronto. Our season was over <laughs> at, basically in September. How how are the Canadians looking? Are they going? Are they gonna go deep in the playoffs this year, Pat? I hope so. We just lost a big, uh, a big player. That Pacioretty looks like he's injured. He's not going to play the last two games. But uh, I think uh, we have a good. Uh, I said we, but I'm not playing actually. But I think <laughs> the Canadian has a, gr- a great uh, group of players, a uh, young players, and uh, uh, I think they they have a good, uh, good leaders too in the team. And uh, you know the the most important thing, uh, Carey Price is just unreal this year. So. Uh, if you have a good goalie, I think you can go very far in the playoffs. 
Uh, hey, Pat, uh, you're fighting Joe Riggs coming up. And Joe has, through his career, had a style like you. He likes to get into the pocket and try to land his left hook. This is exactly the kind of fight Pat Cote likes, right? Yeah, exactly. The thing is, uh, you know, when I fought Thompson, he, he's so awkward. He's so complicated to fight against. Right. And uh, he's a good, very good counterpuncher. Uh, and he caught me in the third round, actually. But uh, it, it, it's very, very hard to uh, to uh, train and, uh, you know, be ready for this kind of style because it's, like, unique. You know, nobody can really train or fight like him. Uh, against Joe Riggs, it's a little bit simple. It's, uh, it's more simple a little bit. Uh, but, you know what, he, he, he's, uh, he's very dangerous on his feet. He's a powerful striker, a, a softball, and uh, a vicious ground and pound, strong physically, already fought in the weight before. Uh, he's a veteran. He has almost 55, uh, 55 fights under his belt. So, uh, but, you know, we're, we're both veterans. I think it's going to be a good match. It's been about a year since uh, Tough Nations wrapped up. Uh, since that time over the past year, I'm sure you've got to watch a lot of the fighters you coach kind of mature into, into UFC fighters. Are, are there any specific fighters from the show that you're still pretty close with, that you, that you train with uh, quite frequently? Uh, not really. Sometimes Elias do, do come to Montreal, train with us at, at BTT. But, uh, uh, you know, I keep touch with, uh, with Sheldon, to Sheldon Westcott. Uh, he was with me in Thailand the last time uh, I, I went there to, 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 to train for, uh, for Thompson, but uh, he got staph infection, so he, he couldn't fight. Uh, so now he's going to fight this weekend. He's going to fight uh, Saturday in, in uh, Poland. And uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to watch that fight for sure. Uh, but other than that, you know, all those guys are from Montreal, almost, you know, Olivier Nardine and Chad. Chad, sometimes I see him uh, at, the bo- at the boxing uh, but uh, no, really, I, I'm talking. I'm talking on, on the web with uh, with Sheldon and Elias, but right. I'm not. Uh, I follow them, but uh, not really close. Was it a drastically different experience as coach as opposed to contestant on the Ultimate Fighter for you? Oh, totally, totally, a lot more, <laughs> a lot more work actually. Uh, but, but a I'll lot less getting, a lot less getting punched in the head, though. Yeah, exactly. But you know what? I was there as the number one training partner for them. You know, I, I I was very clear for them. I was like, okay, I'm here, but I'm not a dictator, guys. I'm here to help you if you need help. But the thing is, when when you, you are coaching this season, you have to adjust yourself to everybody. Everybody's different. You have to put the training. You have to put the game plan. You have to choose a fight. You have to be very, uh, you know, it's you have to take all the time. But uh, it was a blast, you know. We had very, we had fun, and if they ask me to do it again, I'll do it again. But it's very, very different. That you know, when you're contesting, you just have to check your weight, train, and fight. That's it. It's, it's pretty simple. Pat, I, I fought at a very low level, and now I'm in, uh, in media, and nobody ever kicks me in the head anymore. And you know, I, I'm telling you, it's pretty fun. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so at at some point, this is what you have to look forward to full time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now, you know, I'm still enjoying what what I'm doing, but for sure, uh, one day uh, I'm gonna be tired of that. I'm gonna be tired not of the training, but you know, receive receive punch and uh, you know, uh, like I said, as long as I'm able to compete at its level, I, I will I will do it. But uh, you know, I don't want to do the the fight that I'm not supposed to. Yeah. You know, the, the the last fight that you try to convince yourself you still got it, but you don't have it. So it's very important to have good people around you and you, you, you talk with those people, you coach and, and friends. And I know that when I'm going to be able to follow those guys anymore, I know a couple of guys, gonna, a couple of friends and training, trainers going to tell me that maybe it's time to stop that. And I'm going to, I'm very confident about those guys, so I'm going to listen to them. But, but that's a ways off yet. And, and you got uh, Joe Riggs to go and uh, knock out. Yeah, exactly. That's the plan. You know, uh, I, you know, I'm a giver, man. I try to give more than I receive. That, that's what I'm doing. So that's what I'm going to do on uh, April 25th for sure. All right. Well, we're looking forward to the fight. It's Patrick Cote and Joe Riggs, two veterans in the sport that are going to be going at it on Saturday night, April 25th at the Bell Center in Montreal. Pat, all the best going into fight week, and we hope to see you fight and maybe uh, provide some, some words of wisdom for the French viewing audience outside <laughs> After. Of, uh, on the main card. <laughs> yeah, guys, I uh, can't wait to see you guys. We Thanks, will see Pat. you there. Thanks a lot, Pat. Appreciate the time.